Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to um, download your files and then upload them to your computer from fontbundles.net. So once you have purchased um, whatever your <clears throat> amazing font or bundle you're going to get from here, um, it's going to go in your cart and then after you check out, it ends up in your purchases. So these are all ones that I have bought in the past and this is the new one that's out that um, I got that I'm playing with. So here is the fantastic font bundle. So over here, super easy. It's just gonna, you're gonna click the download files and I've already done it. And it, this is a big bundle. So it takes about five or six minutes. So once it downloads, it comes up in a zipped file. So um, you're just gonna open on that. <clears throat> And on here, you'll see all the fonts that it comes in, and then it comes with all its licenses down here. Um, and then you can go through the fonts and actually I've already installed those. Let me show you one that I haven't. So like the foxtail. So if I click on that, um, so you see this is like extra things that they have for this. So all you have to do is click the install button and that will install on your computer. If you want them just to see them all at one time, you can just open this one, all fonts. And this one comes up um, all the separate ones and all of its, some of them will have two or three per thing. Um, like this on Honduras one is an engraved font. And you'll see this is kind of the inside of it. Um, but then on the regular, this is all filled in. So there's all different types of font within one font on some of them. So this is like the shadow and you have that. And all you do is hit install. And I've already installed it, so it will show that up. So I'm going to hit no on that. So that's all you have to do to install them. And then when you go into Cricut Design Space, you'll see that they are already all there on your computer. So um, <clears throat> when you go into new project and add the text and go up, up here where it says font, if you click on that, this is all the fonts and then it separates it into your fonts on your computer, your system, or the Cricut fonts. So if you just click system, then this is all the fonts you have on your computer. And I have a lot of them. So say I search for the Honduras one. So I'm just going to start typing that in and you will see all the Honduras ones pop up. So if I click on this one and say just type my name there. There it is. And then to get them closer, you can click the letter space button and make them closer. You can also come over here to ungroup, ungroup them all, and then just kind of move them where you want. And if you want them perfectly aligned, I click on that and then I hit my shift button and click on that, come up here to align and then align center and then that will align them and then once I have them where I have like them I put a box around the whole thing with my cursor or you can select all of it that's the only thing on your canvas and come down here to attach and click the attach button so now they're attached and they will print or cut out exactly like that show you how to use some of these fonts in um, the on fontbundles.net and this fantastic font bun bundle that I'm playing with and making some koozie um, for some friends and just putting some cute little um, sayings on them. So when you download and open the fantastic font bundle, all of these will be included. So I'm just going to show you how to use a few. Um, so in Cricut Design Space, I'm just going to show you how to <clears throat> make these files over here. So what I usually do is I separate all my words. So I'll write lake 
and then do a new text box and write life. And you can go back into this and if you scroll all the way down of font bundles at the end of this, it will actually show you all their fonts. So I'm gonna um, just type in lake there. So it will show you all the fonts that are in this bundle and what they will look like. So and then you just find the one that you want and, and use that one. So I am going to use this bold brush font here. So I'm going to click on this and you see it's actually already up. So what I usually do is I just start typing in the one I want to use and you'll see all of these that come up with bold brush. There is three different ones in this collection. So I'm just going to click on this one and then I'm going to make them closer together. So I'm just going to click the letter space button here. I'm going to keep clicking it until the last few letters are touching. So like that. And then I'm going to come up on the right to the ungroup and ungroup these and then actually move the L and you can make it bigger, smaller, rotate anything you want. Um, and then I'm going to put a box around the whole thing and come down here and actually hit the weld button so that they're welded together. So for the life, I'm going to use the other um, bold brush font that comes in here. That's why I love when they come in the duos or the trios. It's easier to, to put them together, know that they'll look good together. So there's life. So I'm going to decrease the letter space a little bit. And then make this a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to center them. So I'm just going to use my cursor and put them all in a box, come up to a line and then go to center horizontally and that will move them. And then since I'm going to cut them out in the same color, I'm going to attach them down here. So I'm going to click attach. So that will save them how they are um, and it will cut them out exactly. I'm just going to show way. you how to make this file right here. So I'm going to go back into the font bundles and right here I typed in friends already. So these are all the fonts that come up and what they look like. And I'm going to use one of this lighthouse sailor fonts. So you can see there's four different ones and these ones, I love them. They're super cool. They have a lot of little white specks in them, but unfortunately when you try to cut those out with the Cricut, that tries to cut all of those out. So it takes forever. So I am just going to use this, this one right here. <clears throat> so if I go back into design space and I'm just going to add separate text boxes. And when I go up to my font, I'm just going to type in sailor and these ones come up and I'm going to use the thin one. So then I'm going to keep adding text boxes. And for me, it's just easier to add separate ones because I can maneuver them around better. And you can rotate them and make ones bigger than others. Okay, so now what I want to do is you can see that the F on this one over here is different than this one. So a lot of these fonts, the ones that you purchase have special characters and extra glyphs and things like that, that you can add um, to these to make them super unique. And it's just, this is where I get to use your creativity in designing these things. So what you need for that is a character map. So my PC came with one that was really small. So I ended up finding a different one that's in the Microsoft store. Um, it's free. It's called Character Map UWP and I downloaded that. And this one makes everything much bigger so you can see it well. So that's what I will be using. Okay, so mine, I pinned it down to my taskbar. So I'm gonna pop that up and you will see it. And then these are all my fonts on the side. And I'm going to go to the sailor font, which is right here. And you'll see down here that there's all these extra characters that you can use that have the little squigglies after them. And then there's all these different ones um, 
with different symbols, if you need to use different languages and things like that, this is where you will find them. So I'm going to use the F. So I'm going to click on this one. You see it comes up here on the right. I'm going to click the blue button that says copy text. I'm going to go back to design space. Double click on this. I'm going to delete this F. That just kind of holds the place for it. And then I'm going to click paste. I'm going to right click because I use a mouse and that brings that up. So then I'm going to come up to ungroup. I'm going to ungroup these and then move it to where I want it. And then I'll put a box around the whole thing and come down to attach. So now these are attached. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the need. I'm gonna come back to my character map, find the N, click on that, click the copy text, and click back on here, delete the N and just replace it with this one. <clears throat> and again, ungroup them and move that to where I want it. And then I'm gonna put a square around it with my cursor and again, attach it. So then I'm just gonna kind of line these up. You can unlock this and make you know, them bigger, wider, whatever you want these a little smaller and then I'm going to center them so I'm just going to put a square around all of these come up to a line and then center horizontally but I do want to move this one a little bit over here I'm going to maybe rotate it a little bit and then I'm going to put a square around it and come down to attach so when I attach it, this tells um, the Cricut to cut it all out just like this. If I don't attach it, then you'll see that there's words all over your mat when you go to cut it. So now when I go to make it, you'll see them all come up here. And I'm going to do it on iron-on, cut it out in iron-on. So I'm going to do the mirror so that it flips it over. And then I like to put mine in different corners so then I can put different colors of iron on on here so I can put like a square of red up on this side and a square of black here and maybe white down here so then I don't have to keep changing my mats so it just makes it a little bit quicker for me okay so that's just an easy and quick way to um, just really make your um, your quotes and your sayings and things that you cut out just a little bit more unique and you can kind of play with all the different extra characters in the fonts and just have fun with all these amazing fonts that you can get. So just let me know if you have any questions and I hope that helps.